taken up uh, out of some of our bedrooms, and we're going to do the rest of the house. Some of the equipment weighs 700 pounds for just one piece of equipment, and it's very noisy, but when it's done, it looks nice, just like stores and just like lofts and just like other ho homes. I use the Biomat, and the Biomat has amethyst and tourmaline. It helps me sweat toxins. And it also helps me relax to go to sleep. Um, and it also keeps me very warm in the winter time. And I'm a representative. Uh, people can buy from me. Just go to Charlotte Fairchild Biomat on Google. I do uh, methylated vitamins and I do um, histamine. Um, I took a picture of two cars that parked in handicapped places at a donut shop because I was at a donut shop. Don't go to donut shops and don't take pictures of people who are parked in handicapped places. Um, but you do need to talk to them if you can, if, you're, if you feel brave. Because when you, when you look at things that are unjust, it's, it's good to say something about it. And you can see that I'm not really talking about much. Turpentine, the New Jersey Medical Society of, uh, has a paper about how turpentine was used in the 1800s. The apothecary shop has loads of things for accessibility. And it's important to take care of things like your fuse box. And it's important to um, clean up the house, but sometimes it looks worse before you clean it up. And it's important to find out about a Hawaii farm, P-H-A-R-M, -R um, in Hawaii. Um, and, and then think about iodine and think about contraptions you can get that don't cost much and you won't trip over. Um, but if you can't reach your feet, that's a different uh, problem. I made a terrarium. I bought a empty jar and I'm going to make more. Do your genealogy and find out who was sick. Cut down dead trees. That was a neighbor's tree. Not mine, somebody else's neighbor. Um, when, you, when you think about it, the um, signs that you see make sense. Like no violence, no guns, no smoking, no alcohol. Just imagine a world where we don't have any of that. Be silly and have extra lighting and wear a crown of kudzu on your head because kudzu is completely non-toxic. Look into getting resonant red light or some kind of red light therapy. Um, but rice is interesting too. Tesla came up with that. Um, read in interesting things about different modalities that can help. And learn a language, like um, maybe sign language. Then when you sing, you could do sign language to what you're singing. And, um, you know, peace is a good thing to learn with sign language. So I'm going to learn how to say peace in sign language. I saw it on a pillow. And if you, if you go to a butter, butterfly farm or a butterfly place, you can have a butterfly light on your hand, like this, these lady, that lady did. And... My sisters took a picture with me, and then I found a picture of my grandmother and her two sisters. I'm the middle child. And go to native nurseries and get plants and take pictures of pretty doors and write a book and put the pretty door on it. Um, have silly t-shirts. Learn an instrument. Find pictures of your grandmother with her sister in an old Bikini. Boy, was that not a bikini. Um, and then make fun of things or laugh at things. The little girls were my older sister and myself. Make a cake. Get some ladybugs, especially if they're free. Pike's Nursery gave free ladybugs away this year. And I think it was Mother's Day. Then I don't think I have any ladybugs now, but I did for about a month. Stop and smell the roses. I've had this rose bush for about 20 years. It doesn't smell, but it sure is pretty, and I make bouquets with it. 
get um, a magnetic or some kind of um, filter for your HVAC system that you can wash more often and have cleaner filters. I use I call this um, the blob the purple flowers because I have thousands of them. Save letters from people that you care about and take a picture of them and put with a letter. This was Jean Fairchild Gilmore. I went down to Inverness, Florida and met her and I see Inverness Street around the corner when I go to the grocery store. Take pictures of beautiful um, people or beautiful pets that you have because one day they're not going to be around and you can remember them and remember how much lo you love them. And then when they die, you can donate their things and start over with a new animal if you can handle it. When your college closes, celebrate the fact that you were able to go to that college and that you had a scholarship and that other people can be thankful that there was a college named Judson College. Take pictures of gifts that people give to you to remind yourself that sometimes people love you and that really is encouraging. And then give things away. I gave goblets away to a sister from Judson College. I gave her six or maybe nine goblets um, from Judson College. Um, we call it the Ruby Goblet. And take butt shots when you get a new fuse box. And of course, you have to get a new fuse box if your house is old. Take care of your house. Take care of yourself. Take care of the people you love. Take care of your pets and enjoy life.